Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. In the last part, we defeated the core. The island may have gone down with it, but for some reason, the Doctor and Misery saved it. Perhaps there's more that they need on this island, which is why they kept it along. But Curly saved us with her water tank, which is ours for the rest of the game, which means it will no longer have to worry about drowning, which was a big problem of the core fight, evidently. Um, in this area of the waterway, this area is extremely easy. Probably one of the easiest areas in the entire game. So, I guess it's because you have to live with whatever HP you had after you beat the core. So, I guess they had to make it slightly easy so you could beat it even if you had like 3 HP or something like that. Uh, so all these enemies in this area are really, really, really weak. Um, the only thing that's really have to worry about is the spikes. But some practice can get you over the spikes without taking any hits whatsoever. Um, there's also something that will help, I'll have to cover later called a current, you know, like a water current. But I'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But anyway, as you see, Curly here is still knocked out. She's still uh, on her back with the tow rope that we also acquired in the last part. There's nothing we can do for her right now until we get to a certain area. So, let's go through the current and jump carefully across the spikes. Whee! <laughs> yeah, it kind of pushes you automatically here. Don't worry about these spikes here. They're just there for show. And, as I said, you have the cur Curly's air tank so you don't have to worry about drowning. And I accidentally took the wrong path. You want to get... There we go! You have to jump to get over there. Don't jump through there, otherwise you'll end up at the beginning. And uh, here's some more jellies. You know, these are like the most easiest enemies in the entire game, so... Whatever. And, uh, yeah, no, no, no. they just kind of move in place, oh god. And you can control yourself just a little bit by uh, moving around the control pad or whatever you're using. Okay, over here. See that? When you get off this ledge, you're going to want to, I mean, when you get out of this current, you're going to want to jump to a computer room. You only got one shot at this, so make it count. Okay, hold right, get ready to jump. Um, I'll kill you off. Okay, here we go, get ready. Ah, yes, perfect. Now, in here, there's something special. First, you can save your game. And put Curly on the bed. Well, yeah, you want to rest, and then that, that'll put Curly on the bed as well. So, she's on the bed, and my health is recovered. That's pretty nice as well. So, she isn't moving, but she's still alive. So, let's take a look around here and see if we can do something, uh, you know, for Curly here. So... Uh, if you don't have Curly in this area, this computer, I heard about this. For some reason, it says something like wife or child on some date. I have no idea what the heck that means, but whatever. Anyway, we're looking for a book, and it says surface developed robots have limitations on their operation underwater. If they're submerged for too long a period, their system automatically shuts down to avoid short circuiting. So Curly isn't dead, but. We can learn from the book and treat her. Yay! So let's go back over to uh, Curly and dry her out. So yes, I would love to. Oh, uh, uh. you're alive. I'm so glad. I didn't think we were going to make it. Once you fell unconscious, I couldn't think of any other way. Looks like my air tank worked just as I'd hoped. Ah, and she passed out again. She passes out a lot, but she's still an awesome character. Anyway, what you want to do is take her with you. Wait. No, do not take, I mean, do not leave her there. If you leave her there, you cannot come back for her and you will not get the game's best ending. So make sure you drain her of her water and take her with you. All right, out we go to do the rest of the waterway. So, we just follow this path downward, like so, and get ready for some uh, quick jumps over spikes! Just hold the direction that you're moving and jump over them uh, at the last second. Eww, the current will pull you right, or I should say push you right through it without any trouble whatsoever. This area is pretty cool, I have to say. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna jump down this side to give myself a little more time to react! I think that was a bad idea because the camera moved over, so just go along the right side. <laughs> And just keep letting yourself go across here. There we go. And a boss battle's coming up, so prepare yourself. Something's coming! 
this is a boss known as Iron Head. If you get through this boss without taking a hit, you'll be able to get uh, a, a medal for doing so. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get that medal. This boss isn't that hard, but I'm not going to cry about it if I don't get the medal, since it's a, it, since it's a completely <clears throat> optional item, excuse me. So I'm doing fairly well. The level 3 sword is an excellent item to have for this. But the problem is that the fish and whatever that hits you, like porcupines and stuff like that, they come from behind. So what happens is that they can, uh, you know, you're, you shoot forward like a side-scrolling shooter game. And that's quite a problem. Wait, these fish don't hurt you when they pass by. Oh, so that might not be a problem anywhere. anyway. Anyway, uh, this uh, boss... <laughs> is a boss from a game he also made, the Pixel guy, you know, the guy Pixel, called Ika-chan, and that's like the main boss of Ika-chan is uh, Iron Head here, so this is like a, sort of like, ah, oh, I took a hit, dang it! See, like I said, it's not that hard to get through this area without taking a hit, but it's still a thing of, you gotta have a little bit of luck, and I'm not gonna complain about it if I do take a hit, but dang it, I was so close! So I guess I should complain about it since I never got that medal before. Uh, but you can get it if you want. But yeah, uh, Ika-chan, if you got the deluxe version of this for Windows, that game will come bundled with it. And as you see, Curly is gone. We're back into the uh, reservoir. Wait, 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 wait. There's something I have to do. I must kill that evil, world's hardest enemy. Again. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> I love the chinfish. It's just got such a silly expression. Anyway, now we're back at the uh, Mimiga village. And you're going to notice that this place is completely deserted. There isn't a soul to be had. You can look all around this place, and you aren't going to find a thing. So, what you got to do is go back to the egg corridor. Uh, wait, actually, I think we're going to meet up with somebody here. No? I could have swore... Let me save here. Because <laughs> I know we have to go back to the egg corridor next. Ah, so we do meet somebody here. Hello, Professor Booster. I didn't kill you by jumping down and saving you. So, this time you survived, and may I add that you're going to get a slightly better booster, well, theoretically better booster, uh, by not saving him back at the labyrinth. So, uh, yeah. Thank you! It's the booster 2.0, which I'll demonstrate in a, just a second. So, he wants me to take Sue and flee the island. And to, the only way to flee this island, if you recall, was back at the Egg Corridor with Egg Zero. So, what you want to do here is first equip the booster, and the it'll, it'll explain the controls for you, and... No, 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 thank you, no! Thank you, there we go! <laughs> uh, and you, now you've got a booster that you can use to, well, boost through the air in all sorts of directions. I sometimes like the Booster 0.8 better because it's easier to control than this one, or at least in my opinion it is. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Egg Corridor. What happened? There was this huge explosion when I came to it all looked like this. What on earth happened? Well, something happened and we're about to find out. As you can see, the dragon eggs, there's a bunch of dead dragons around here. This is not looking good. The egg corridor has, co oh, ambush, <laughs> has completely changed. And don't worry, the enemies are basically about the same. However, you're going to come across some zombie dragons, which are quite a powerful enemy. And I really should start po powering up my Polar Star again, as well as all of my weapons. So let's just clear out some of these guys for uh, weapon energy uh, along our way. This place isn't very large. It's the same size as the original Egg Corridor, except without the um, uh, side tracks and stuff like that. You know, side tracking. Well, okay, let's just... Yeah! No, 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 oh, It lands right on me. Or I should say, I walked right on it. Uh, I am not playing very well, am I? <laughs> I'm rushing through this way too much. Oh, and that's another thing I should make note. Some of those... Um, those pillars, those spiky pillars from the ceiling there, they fall down. And as you can see, the, this is a zombie dragon. So let's kill it off and get ourselves 
a missile upgrade. That's one of two in this area. Awesome sauce, and I would like to fall down here. Pretty sure, it's pretty sure. Oh, I can't go through here. Never mind. You'll notice that that uh, basil enemy, that was the one hit kill critter, is no longer around here, so you don't have to worry about that. Overall, I would say this place is still pretty easy, even even when I'm playing horrendously like I am right now. Um. Oh, I forgot to go get something. I gotta go back to the first area of the game. Oh, uh, whoops. So let, excuse me for a second. I'm going to go and backtrack here. Uh, I guess I don't have to cut it all. The reason why I want to go here is because remember I said a while back that you can get the best item in the game once you get... Um, once you keep your polar star for as long as you possibly can. Well, I'm going to show you where that is right now. So, maybe what I should do is actually just get that item and then end off this part. Because I already wasted a bunch of time doing that. I'm trying not to use too many cuts in this walkthrough. Just to show off this game in its entirety. So, yeah, you get the idea. Now, what you want to do is go over to here. Boost yourself up to these things. Yeah, you never seen these before, did you? Do you know where we're going? Yep, this cave. The very first cave in the game, and that was horrible playing. I took a hit from the easiest enemies in the game. Wow. So let's just go down here. This is all basically the same as it was before, until you get the best item in the game. And I should have picked this up before I went to the egg corridor, because this item is great for the egg corridor, or I should say the egg corridor, because it's got that question mark at the end after being decimated. Go into here, and uh, hey, the guy's awake now. He's the Hermit Gunsmith. So, yeah, I I may have seen that gun. Yeah, you would like to keep a gun in your pocket while you sleep? That's kind of dangerous, man. Uh, maybe it is. And, uh, yeah, he steals back the Polar Star. And I have been using it quite a bit. So, what he's going to do is upgrade it for us. He seems to be quite happy that I used his gun so much, so he's going to finish it. Yeah, the Polar Star is actually an unfinished weapon. Woo! And we've got the spur. And this is basically a chargeable laser. And this thing kicks butt and takes names. Let's just say that. There is... So much power to this weapon, and it just chews through a lot of enemies at once. This is why I think it's one of the better items that you can get in this game, if not the best item in the game. So you hold the button, it's a charging weapon, and at, at the maximum power, yeah, you don't even need weapon energy, it charges on its own. Booyah! Look at that damage. And now you'll notice that there's a lot more uh, enemies in this area, so you'll be able to show off the spur quite nicely. <laughs> And at its weakest, you know, if you just tap the button like this, it's as weak as the level 3 Polar Star. So it's still a pretty dang good weapon if you have a fast finger. If not, you can just charge it up for a second and get yourself a freaking laser. <laughs> and... Like I said, this weapon is awesome. And I'm still taking damage here, but that's okay. I'm kind of rushing through this area because I've wasted a little too much time backtracking in this part as it is. So, yeah. Ooh, maybe I should have... Let's just try and... Whoa! <laughs> I love that so much. Like I said, choose through loads of enemies. It's so awesome. And I am going to end it off here. So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when we do the Egg Corridor for realsies. See you then.